iconic art from our photos is made possible by the Google Culture and Arts app. Here's a blog post which I'll link to. The way this is happening is opening the Google Arts and Culture app on mobile will bring us up a button which will look like, he says, whirling around. The dead centre at the bottom, the art transfer. This is the picture we're going to look at. It loads as a square picture and there are 23 to choose from. I'm going to whip through all 23, which takes in real time about 18 minutes. So from tapping the art transfer, we're on to number one, which is this image in the style of the scream. And there it is, just transforming through as a GIF. So if you like this sort of thing, then that's what it will do. Bearing in mind, there are lots to choose from. So when we go to number two, Man from Naples, it looks like this, which quite honestly, in my opinion, it transforms our sunset into something that I probably won't use, Heart of the Universe. What's this one all about? So we take our sunset with trees and we make it look like that. Okay, fair enough. If you are a lover of a self-portrait by Andy Warhol, you get, in my example, something like this. I would say not very well suited. The Great Wave here. Mount Fuji. Now I could see myself doing something similar with this, maybe on a future video. Perhaps not this scene of the sunset, but you get an idea. Vincent van Gogh and a self-portrait. That's pretty interesting. I'm just looking, literally looking and testing out to see what actually happens. Improvisation 26. Um, now that really does transform. There's some interesting strokes. Again, I am not an art expert in any shape or form. Free South Africa is like this. You can get an idea how the AI is working on your mobile device to make this happen. Composition of circles and overlapping angles. Something like that. Of course, if you look at your original photo, I've already got a style that I work on, as you probably follow which is Cyberlink's photo director effects styles that I use a lot. With that said, out of 23 here, all we need is about two or three that we can trust or like to start putting across styles. If you go and look on the web for hashtag art transfer, there's a lot of people who are doing just that, he says. So that's the fall of the rebel angels. We're going to Ninfi Rosa from Monet. Probably said that super wrong. That's really interesting the way, if you had a slide with say text over the top, Lee Krasner untitled 1946. Again, super iconic, super interesting. The thing that I'm not doing here, of course, Mona Lisa coming up next is you can paint and snip um, and get a full mixture. I'm just doing a whole square at the moment. Moving along the bottom here, what are we going to next? The red barn. Now that I would say isn't representative of my original photo. Of course it isn't because it's in the style of the red barn. Then we're going on to another self portrait here. I'm particularly looking on the left and the right to see if I've got any representation of the trees. Antipodes morning. We've got the sun, we've got the original cottage. Again, I know for a fact if you're watching this, this video is only 540 long because I've done all the hard work, meaning the lengthy work to cut this all down to see what the dream looks like on screen now. When it says at the top they're loading, it actually takes about 30, 35 seconds on my tablet to, to load this. So I've cut that 30 seconds out, which you're getting it a lot quicker. And then you can see it's loading up. At least this video may serve 
as a comparison of all 23. I think we've only got two more to go, believe it or not. So still life with lemons, oranges and a pomegranate. Let's see what Jacob comes up with here. Again, you can take a photo in the app or use one of your existing photos to do this. I believe that we may be on the last one just coming up, which is just loading now. Originals in the National Gallery. Again, that's a really interesting one, the way it works together. That is a summary and a conclusion of the iconic art from our photos using Google Arts and Culture app. Thank you very much and goodbye.